What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the second annual PokeTuber Games. This PokeTuber Games is crazy because we added 12 new contestants. Um, so in this freaking PokeTuber Games, we've got District 1, comprised of Karai Nation, the Shiny Shark, and Keganator. District 2, comprised as Mikey, Slam Predicted M, and Trippy Trainer. And in District 3, we got the one, the only, Papa Agron, Sanok, and Water Buffalo. And then in District 4, we got Flexitron Prime. I can't flex, that's bad. We got Risky, the one and only. And then the person who literally has done so much and given so much support to the community that he could not not be on this list, Lantern Joe. District 5 is me and my collab partners, Aaron Biggers, and myself. District 6 is the party district with Jumanji, Sparks, and Youngster Joey. District 7, the analytical thinkers, Jonas, Joy, and Aram. District 8, the... I don't have a nickname for this district, but anyway, with Labag, Lion, T, and Big Uzi, I tried. Then District 9, the Ryan District, with Brooks, Matt, and Haley. Obviously, Mopo Shack, gotta give him some love and support. He literally does so much good things for this community. He is amazing, and if you have not checked him out, go do it right now. Everybody, Everybody's link, by the way, is gonna be in the description of this video, so don't be surprised um, when you see like 80,000 links, but it's to everybody's channel because everybody in the small PokeTube games deserves love, support, and everything else. District 10, we got our competitive battlers, Cryptic Flash, Metamech, and Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. District 11, we got the people who literally I met recently, uh, like, recently as in like three months ago, um, Dean, Campfire Chris and Scott in District 12, the up and coming district, the district that is all powerful. Pokeblock Trainer Z, Inferno Men, and Timmy. Honestly, it's gonna be a crazy situation. Please tell me I don't have to reinsert everybody. That's freaking fantastic. I love the fact that I have to reinsert. Everybody, so we'll be right back. Yeah, we're back at this Poketeeper Games. Let's go. I'm super excited, super hyped. Let's see what happens. We have it at medium death rate, so hopefully deaths won't occur too fast. Um, but we'll find out. There's 36 cast members. Let's head on to the first night. First, the tributes are at the stand. Water Buffalo finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Wow, that's that's nice actually. That's a very very good beginning. Sparks finds some explosives. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Sparks be out here. And Jumanji and Youngster Joey obviously working together. They're from the same district. We have Jumanji grabbing fishing bait while Youngster Joey grabs some fishing gear. Labag, Aaron, run away. Brooks snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Haley runs away. Joy takes a handful of throwing knives. I should have probably projected who's going to win. By the way, um, I'm saying that Joy is going to win the Poketuber Games. I think Matt is a close second. Uh, and Timmy would be my third option. So those are my top three options that I think will win this year's Poketuber Games. Um, we got Matt running away. Smart, smart. Sanok grabs some size. Uh, Beegers breaks Inferno Mon's nose for a basket of bread. Not dead, but oof. Lantern Joe runs away. Cryptic Flash runs away. Z also runs away. Trippy takes a spear inside the cornucopia. Jonas finds some water. Risky runs into a into the cornucopia and hides. Keganator runs away. Mikey finds bow, arrow, and quiver immediately. Ooh, that Katniss storyline already. Karai run aw runs away. Dean runs away. Super Saiyan Blue Lucario takes the first kill, and it's Timmy. Oh my god. I literally just cursed the hell out of Timmy by picking Timmy third. Timmy is the first death of PokeTuber Games 2021. Oh my god. Uh, Metamec runs away. Papa gets a sword. Oh, Jesus. Papa's gonna kill things. DBB runs away. I run away. 
Lion T runs away. Shiny Sack gets or Shiny Shack gets throwing knives. Sleep Addicted M grabs a jar and Lexitron gets some fishing gear as well. So they're working for together even though they're from different districts. Uh, Uzi gathers as much food as he can. Capfire Chris takes a sickle inside the cornucopia and Aram runs away. Whoa! Kiganator, Matt, Lion T, and Jumanji raid Papa's camp while he is out hunting with his dang sword. Z receives fresh food. Me and Lantern Joe work together all day, baby! I'm actually excited about that one. That actually is a very good positive there. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario tends to Lexitron's wor uh, wounds. Sparks diverts Brook's attention and runs away. Dean diverts Meta Mech's attention and runs away as well. Inferno Men runs away from Beegers. Makes sense. Beegers is a cutthroat killer. If you haven't watched the verses, you know why. Uh, Water Buffalo unknowingly eats toxic berries, and that is the second death of the Pokey Tuber games. Toxic berries. Oh, you gotta study those plants. Gotta study those plants. Uh, Jonas questions his sanity, obviously. Um, that, that sounds very accurate. Uh, Risky bashes DBB's head in with the May Scott is the third death of the PokeTuber games. Risky claims the second kill in the games. Uh, <laughs> Big Uzi receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, LeBag and Arm were together and Karai is now dead. Oh my god, Karai, another death already. The deaths are coming, even though this is a medium death rate. Sanog picks flowers. Oh, Aaron, Joy, M, Youngster Joey, and Cryptic all work together to hunt some tributes. <laughs> I'm screwed, aren't I? Trippy Trainer attacks Shiny Shack, but they manage to escape. Haley discovers a cave. Mikey questions sanity. And Chris gets clean water from an unknown sponsor. Day one, the four deaths. Timmy, Water Buffalo, Scott, Karai. Oh, we're starting the night. Large Aram tracks down and kills Mikey. Oh, what a start to the night. District 7 getting a kill. Let's... Freaking go. I know I'm not District 7, but wow. Beegers questions his sanity. Sparks and Dean kill Lexatron Prime. Oh my god. More death and more death and more death. Z tends to his wounds. M and Jonas truce for the night. Brooks tries to sing himself to sleep. Shiny they The shiny shack loses where they are. Cryptic receives some clean water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Papa begs for Haley to kill him. She refuses keeping Papa alive. Good job, Haley. Good job. Y you know, Papa's got a sword. Papa could have a lot of things that he could give to you, but the fact that you're being nice and letting letting him stay alive could prove useful in the long run. Metamec gets clean water. <laughs> I cry myself to sleep. That, that, that kind of makes sense. That's my defense mechanism, so that makes sense. Sleeping is the defense mechanism. Means that Lion T and Matt sleep in shifts. Smart, smart. Sanok looks at the night sky. Joy lets Risky into her shelter. So Joy, looking to make some alliances. Makes sense from an analytical point of view. District 4 is a crazy district. And on top of that, like, you know... Arm just killed Lex, or Arm not did not kill Lex. Arm killed Mikey. That does not matter. Never mind. Uh, well, it does matter, but you know what I mean. Uh, Lebag cooks his food before putting his fire out. Trippy and Uzi hold hands. Aaron and Campfire Chris hold hands. Lantern Joe looks at the night sky. Super Saiyan Blue Lucario sings himself to sleep. King Nader tends to his wounds. Jumanji receives some medical supplies. That could be proving useful. Infernomon stays awake all night. This could lead to disaster for District 12. Joey is awoken by nightmares. That could also cause disaster. Day 2. Trippy receives some explosives. 
Haley also receives explosives. Campfire Chris is dead! Infection has killed Campfire Chris. It must have been a pretty deadly one. Oh, District 11 takes its first hit. This is scary. Sparks, Risky, Youngster, Joey, and the Shiny Shack are hunting for some tributes. M scares Aaron off. You know, makes sense. Gotta, gotta protect the shelters. Metamec tends to the bag's wounds. Arm explores the arena. Makes sense. Super Saiyan Blue Lucario attempts to climb a tree, falls on top of me, snapping my neck and killing him in the process. Oh, I knew I was going to die. I just didn't think that I would die to, like, somebody else's clutziness. Both the Johns kill each other. You know, that's kind of hilarious. I got to give credit to this. Both Johns killed each other. Naturally. <laughs> Jonas is fishing. Probably providing food for joy. Beegers diverts Papa's attention and runs away. Joy searches for firewood. Oh my god. <laughs> Why in the world did I just kind of predict this? Joy getting the firewood. Jonas is doing the fishing. That <laughs> District 7 scary. Dean sprains his ankle running away from Jamaji. Does not die. Sanok sees smoke rising in the distance but does not investigate. Lion T receives some fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Cryptic hunts for the other tributes. Uh oh. King and Nader, Matt, and Big Uzi unsuccessfully ambush Lantern Joe, Inferno Men, and Pokeblock Trainer Z, who kill them instead. District 12 be claiming them kills. That is three kills for everybody from that interaction. Wow. Lantern Joe out here. Brooks practices some archery. Makes sense. He got some stuff to practice the archery with. Brooks could be a threat. Let's proceed. Eight deaths in the night. Mikey, Electrotron, Campfire, Chris, Super Saiyan, Blue Lucario, myself, Keganator, Matt, and Big Uzi. Let's go ahead and see how the districts are shaping up at this point in the game. We've got District 1 only having the Shiny Shack left. We have Mikey... The only dead in District 2. Water Buffalo only dead in District 3. District 4 has two candidates. District 5 has two candidates. District 6 and 7 are fully intact. District 8 has two candidates. District 9 has two candidates. District 10 has two candidates. District 11 is down to one. And District 12 has two candidates with the most amount of kills. Makes sense, makes sense. Back to follow tributes. Let's go forward into the night two. Youngster Joey tends to... It says her. It's supposed to be his. Tends to his wounds. Uh, Joy receives a hatchet. Oh. Sparks is screaming for help. Cryptic loses sight of where he is. Aram, Jumanji, and the bag all discuss what might happen in the morning. Lantern Joe starts a fire. Haley sees the fire but stays hidden. Oh. Z, poke a block. Trainer Z, Trippy and Brooks track down to kill Beegers. A three of you won. They saw Beegers as a threat. It makes 100% sense. I think Beegers already claimed a kill. And look at that. Beegers is gone. And District 5 is down to Aaron. Oh, Lion T sets up a camp for the night. Dean sends or fends Sleep Addicted M, Inferno Mon, and Metamec away from the fire. Sanog screams for help. Shiny Jack and Aaron run into each other and decide to choose for the night because they're the only two from their districts alive. Jonas has an explosive now. Risky! Claiming another kill with that dang mace! Papa is gone from the Poketuber games. Risky claiming kill number two in the night. Risky being that night owl freaking killing everybody and that is how the night is gonna end as we move into day three with sparks fishing jonah's traveling to higher ground infernament begging jumanji to kill him refuses keeping infernament alive metamec hunts for the other tributes Haley receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor brooks cryptic and trippy all together hanging out hunting for the tributes alliance 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 z is fishing dean questions sanity joy explores the arena Youngster Joey receives clean water. 
Risky, Lion T in the bag, I'll fight, and Lion T pulling the double kill, and Risky in the bag are gone from the PokeTuber games. Lantern Joe hunts for other tributes. Aaron and Sanok work together for the day. Makes sense, makes sense. RMZ smoke in the distance, but does not investigate. Sleek a bit of, and sleek, uh, sleep, oh my god, it's supposed to be, oh my god, sleep addicted, <laughs> M fishes, I'm just gonna go with that, shiny shiny camouflages themselves in the bushes, in four shots, and this is how the district's playing out, the, is there a district that's fully gone yet, I don't know, oh my god, that betrayal, they were in the same district, I don't think there's a district that's fully gone yet, every district has a chance to win this still, Cryptic lets Trippy into the shelter. Brooke passes out from exhaustion. Haley, Shiny Shack, and Z are singing together. Lion T climbs the tree to rest. Jonas loses sight of where he is. Dean and Arm sleep in shifts. Jumanji looks at the night sky. Metamech looks or cooks his food before putting the fire out. Joe sees fire but stays hidden. Joey sta- Oh! Joey claiming the kill on Sparks! Joey stabbing Sparks! They are in the same district and yet they kill each other! Feast or famine! And Joey said, Hannah! <laughs> and Joey kills his own teammate. Betrayal! And loses sight of where she is. Sanak bashes Joey! Not Joey, Joy! His head against a rock several times, and I believe that is a death, but we'll find out later. I think Joy just died. Oh my lord. Uh, Aaron gets some medical supplies. Inferno attempts to climb a tree, but he falls to his death. And that is another one. These deaths are piling. Now, day four, Dean and Jonas work for the day. Youngster Joey practices archery. Haley tends to jo Lantern Joe's wounds. Actually, we'll find out if it's a death because if Aaron doesn't, or if uh, Joy doesn't pop up, then she's dead. Aaron collects a fruit from a tree. M strangles Trippy with a rope and M kills, kills a another teammate. Oh, oh my god, these teammates killing each other. Cryptic and Jumanji work together to drown Sanok, so Sanok is dead too. The cannons are firing. Chase, Z chases Metamech. Shiny Shack gets medical supplies. Arm tends to the T's wounds, and Brooke discovers a cave. So yeah, Joy is dead. We've got Sparks dead, Joy dead, Inferno Men, Trippy, and Sanok. And let's see, District 3 is gone. <laughs> so District 3 cannot win anymore. Joe is the only one left in 4. Shiny Shack is the only one left in 1. District 2 is only M. District 5 is Aaron. District 6 has 2. District 7 has 2. District 8 only has 1. 9 has 2, 10 has 2, 11 has 1, and 12 has 1, but Z has the most kills at the current moment. Proceeding into night 4, Joe looks at the night sky, Aaron fends off Metamec Arm and Shiny Shack, ooh, he got ambushed. Jumanji tends to Jonas's wounds, Youngster Joey and Haley run into each other, but truce. Brooke forces Dean to kill Cryptic or M... <gasps> oh! He refused and turned it back on Brooks! Oh my god! That's how Brooks is dead! Oh! Holy crap! I did not actually see that coming! <laughs> Dean went, oh hell nah, you don't make me kill somebody, I'm gonna kill you instead. <laughs> Z is unable to convince Lion T not to kill him, and Lion T claims a kill the strongest player in the games. Day 5, Aaron, Lion T, Lantern Joe, Brooks, raid Jonas's camp while he's hunting. Wait, Brooks isn't dead? <laughs> wow, okay, I thought Brooks died. Okay, Brooks is somehow alive. I'm gonna go back to night four, see what happened. 
Brooks forces Dean to kill Cryptic or Flair. He refuses to kill, so Brooks kills him instead. Oh! Dean died! Oh! Bro! Even better! Wow! Okay! I had to read that a little bit differently. I'm like, wait, well, who's dead now? Metamech and Cryptic RM and Youngster Joey hunt for tributes. Haley sees smoke but doesn't investigate. M travels to higher ground. Jumanji injures himself. And Shiny Jack goes hunting. Two cannon shots fired. Dean and Z. Night five. Haley, Shiny Shack, and Yuxer, good Joey, goes into a fight, and Shiny Shack pulls off the double kill and kills them both, with Shiny Shack being the only one alive in the district. That makes sense. Lion T gets fresh food. Cryptic, Brooks, and Arm get into a fight, and Brooks kills both of them! Brooks is on a rampage! <laughs> God damn, Brooks! Out here on a freaking rampage! Jonas convinces Medic Mech not to kill him, only to kill him instead. Jonas using that brain of his to get a kill. Jumanji screams for help. M receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. And Lantern Joe and Aaron sleep in shifts. The feast. The cornucopia has been replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's family. Brooks destroys Lion T's memories out of spite. I mean, makes sense. They're both competing for the most kills. Uh, Lantern Joe does not go. Jonas does not go. Shiny Shack does not go. Aaron does not go. Jumanji does not go. And M does not go. So the only person that went was Brooks to destroy Lion T. What a freaking savage, bro. Uh, day six, Lion T fishes. Jonas annihilates Aaron for his supplies. And that is District 5 gone. Aaron survived a very long time though. So I got to give credit where credit is due. M searches for firewood. Lantern Joe steals from Brooks while he isn't looking. Shiny Shot gets an explosive. And Jumanji camouflages himself. And six cannon shots are heard in the district. Haley, Youngster Joey. Cryptic. Aram. Metamech. And Aaron. Who's left? We got the Shiny Shack from District 1. From District 2, we got Sleep Addict M holding one kill. District 4, we got Linter Joe who holds three kills. District 5 did not claim a single kill. <laughs> oh my god. District 5. No kills. District 6, Jumanji with one. Jonas has two. Lion T has three. Brooks has four and has taken... Oh, about to take the lead as far as kills go. Jesus, Brooks. Night six. Joe, Jonas, and Shiny Slack, Shiny Shack sleep in shifts. M, Brooks, and Jumanji discuss the games, and Lion T thinks about winning. Brooks and Lion T work together for the day. Okay, interesting alliance. That's a scary alliance. I would be scared for Lion T's life. Sleep addicted and sprains their ankle while running away from Jonas. Jumanji sees smoke, Lantern Joe makes a sling, slingshot, and a shiny shack fishes. The arena, a, an arena event. Uh oh, this could be an oopie. The arena turns pitch black and nobody can see a thing. Deaths are going to pile up and I can already see two of them. Brooks accidentally makes contact with the spiny lethal plant life, which makes Brooks dead. Lion T cannot see, and so therefore he trips on a rock and falls off the cliff to his doom. Jumanji does the same thing and is dead. Shiny Shack survives, Jonas survives, M survives, and Joe survives. So we're down to the final four contestants. Ho 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 We're going to proceed. Three cannon shots are fired for Brooks, Lion T, and Jumanji. Shiny Shack, Lantern Joe, and Jonas sleep in shifts, and M sleep thinks about home. Okay. Sleep addicted M hunts for other tributes. Jonas defeats Lantern Joe in a fight, but spares his life. And Shiny Shack dies from an infection. The final three M, Jonas, and Lantern Joe heading into night eight. Joe screams for help. M sets up camp for the night, and Jonas gets some clean water. Oh, this is anybody's game. Jonas kills Sleep Addicted. Oh my god, the winner of the PokeTuber Games 2021.
Jonas kills M, and Joe dies trying to escape. Which means our winner of the 2021 PokeTuber Games is Jonas. Holy shnikes. I'm actually surprised. I'm legit surprised. We have first Jonas. Jonas had three kills, actually. That was pretty respectable. Joe had three kills. M had one. Shiny Shark had two. Jumanji had one. Lion D had three kills. A lot of aggressive plays. Brooks had four. Aaron was no kills. Eighth place. Top ten. That's not bad. Metamec at nine. Arm at ten. Cryptic at eleven. Joey at twelve. Haley at thirteen. Fourteen is Z. Fifteen is Dean. Sanok is sixteen. Trippy is seventeen. Infernomon is literally the middle of the pack at eighteen. Joy at nineteen. Sparks at twenty. The bag at twenty-one. Twenty. <laughs> 22 is Risky, 23 is Papa, 24th is Beegers, 25th is Uzi, 26th is Matt, 27th is Keganator, I am 28 with Super Saiyan Blue Lucario at 29, Campfire Chris at 30, Lexatron at 31, Mikey at 32, Karai at 33, DBB, Scott at 34, Water Buffalo at 35, and Timmy at 36. Honestly, this was a crazy Pokétipper game that lasted day, nine days, which is actually a long one. But I hope you guys had a wonderful, splendid day. Um, let me know how you like this. Obviously, small PokeTuber games. The limit was 5K, so that's why, like, if you see, like, no uh, people, certain people, that's why that the limit was 5K. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Peace.